it going? Welcome back to Digs of the Day, episode 29. Wow, how time flies. I'm DJ Tricks, and I get right into some stuff I picked up recently. Uh, different finds, Goodwills, swap meets, uh, things like that. Some I bought at the record shop, and um, yeah, just some stuff I wanted to share. Again, this ain't a show where I'm trying to like uh, floss my illest records or like you know show you the best records I got. This is basically a show digs of the day I show you the digs that I picked up today you know or this week so the first one I picked up was the Crusaders free as the wind I believe this is a kind of a jazz type style um, I used to play it and I haven't heard it I've got one already so you could probably check me or correct me on that the Crusaders free as the wind but I got it for a dollar, so I've got one or two already. And the one that I have, I remember I bought off eBay a few years ago. A friend of mine came over with some Crusaders album, and it was real, real good jazz. It was on that Blueprint label. Is this the same label? It has like a little blueprint on it. Yeah, it does. This one does have that blueprint. Yeah, Blue Thumb, ABC Blue Thumb, but this ain't the album he brought over. But uh, so after I've heard that one, I said, man, I got to buy all the Crusaders albums, even though some of the stuff ain't that good. Um, I'm still trying to get it. I don't know the name offhand. If you know it, go ahead and leave it below. Crusaders. Uh, free as the wind. Another one I found was uh, this one I got for a dollar at Book Off. Jackie Vernon. Uh, Sex is not hazardous to your health. It's kind of like a, a, a comedy album from maybe the 60s. Kind of sounded like the 60s at least. But a really funny album. The guy in here, I guess, is Jackie Vernon. Or is it Tom Bosley? Sounds like Frosty the Snowman. So this is a cool album. It's funny. It's kind of a little bit not for kids, but I got it for a dollar. Uh, Sex is Not Hazardous to Your Health by Jackie Vernon. Go ahead and YouTube it and you'll know what I'm talking about. This one I found at the Discount Center for a dollar is uh, by The Enchantments. Enchantment, right? Okay, the name of it is The Enchantment. I know there's a group called The Enchantments, so I'm not sure. I played it and I really didn't like it, so I'm just going to go ahead and it in my collection yeah enchantment enchantment so this is the album enchantment titled enchantment self-titled album it's got the frog on it I don't know too much about it but I got it for a dollar better to buy it for a dollar than twenty dollars in twenty years uh, dramatically yours by Rod Banks and the dramatics got this one for a dollar too uh, cool album right here it's on Volt so, you know, that's a still to me Dramatics album for a dollar. Dramatically Yours by Rod Banks. This one I actually paid $3.99 for. It's the originals and they sing Baby on for real. Still got the price tag there. I believe I got this one at PM Sounds and Old Torrance. Yeah, $3.99. Baby on for real. Check out that back right there. That is nice. The originals. Baby on. I hope you can see it. The light's not reflecting the plastic. I usually put my records in plastics as soon as I bring them home. I buy the plastics by the box. I even sell them on eBay if you're looking for uh, the plastic 5 8 uh, the 12 inch ones. Good to keep your, your albums clean. I also clean the albums when I get home with uh, uh, special baby wipes that don't have uh, nothing in it that'll, that'll hurt them. Let them dry, then slip the plastics on them. Um, important to keep your um, out. And then another, another thing too is. Um, Usually I do them like a baseball card. I'm just this is just pointers. The record slides in that way, so I put the cover in this way to protect it from dust. So it's like a baseball card basically. You know, you lift it up that way. The record slides out that way, so it's full protection there. Usually keep my receipts in there too, just so I know in the future what I paid for it. A uh, good album right here has that song "Baby on For Real," "Moment of Truth," uh, "Why When Love Is Go Gone." has a uh, you're the one love is a wonder uh, you mysterious you good album by the originals paid $3.99 for that one pick this one up at the Google down the street from my house it's uh, Stiller's will I don't know too much about it it looks like it might be psychedelic rock um, it was still sealed um, so I probably won't open it so I don't know if I want to YouTube that Stiller's will find out information about it if you know what it is let me know Carol Melvin in the Blue Notes, featuring If You Don't Know Me By Now and I Miss You. Got several of these. This is the one I got that good sample on it. Huh? This is not the one, but this is still a cool album. I probably got two or three of them. 
Philadelphia International label. So cool album, good condition for a dollar. Bought another one, might be going up on eBay. Yeah, the other thing too, uh, if you have watched any of my episodes of Digs of the Day and you see a record you like and you want to make me an offer, make me an offer and I'll ship it out to you. I sell records on eBay under, uh, I believe it's, yeah, I sell records on eBay. If you want to know, just hit me up and I'll tell you my account. Um, a lot of these records I don't put on there, but I'll be willing to sell these if you make me the right offer. Uh, another record I found sealed at the Goodwill was Solitudes Environmental Sound Experience Volume 6. And I actually popped this one open and listened to it. It's pretty cool. You can hear like frogs and uh, water ponds in the back. So I like stuff like that. You know, I like to play stuff like that because it's different. You know, I'm into hip hop. So I need a, I need a break from hip hop every now and then. Or I should say all the time. And that's why most of the records I buy are not hip hop. Because hip hop can be overrated. Another one I found was... Free Flight Soaring. This is a magnificent album. I don't know if I shared it before. This is the only copy I have, so I'm sure I haven't shared it. And I picked this one up at the Goodwill a couple of days ago. And I've been playing it nonstop since then. It has uh, Jim Walker on there and Ralph Humphrey. If that rings a bell, but you've got to pick this record up right here. Look it up. Uh, Free Flight Soaring. This is an awesome album right here. It's jazz. For those of you who do not know, Another album I found was Take One by the Jersey City State Jazz Assembly. Nice album right here, man. Nice album. Anything that uh, looks like that music minus one drummer that looks like that, I'm definitely going to get. Take One by the Jersey City State Assembly. I love those kind of albums, the college albums, the jazz ones, because they're rare. And they usually sound pretty good. Maybe the, the, the recording quality might not be top notch, but usually the music is. Another one I found was the final cut, uh, performed by Pink Floyd by Roger Waters. Uh, don't know too much about it. Uh, not a big Roger Waters fan, even though some of his stuff is cool. Um, but this is the album. I seen it pretty pricey on eBay, so I had to pick it up. Got it for a buck. Might be going on eBay. If someone's trying to sell it for twenty on eBay, I'll probably go eight or ten. You know, ten bucks on eBay, just to get rid of it. This one I don't know absolutely anything about. I got it at Book Off for a dollar. It's Wardell Piper. Never heard of it. Haven't played it yet. Um, Wardell Piper. It looks kind of freaky. The snake there. What's wrong with that girl? But uh, anytime I see an African American girl on there and it's a 70's album, I'm definitely going to buy it because, you know, sampling and looping. So me being a producer, I'm always going to pick those up because it's a... A bad habit. <clears throat> Another one I got was Evelyn Champagne King Music Box. Well, I think I got this at the Swamp Meet the other day. Uh, you can see how it's really damaged up. But uh, Evelyn Champagne King has a lot of good stuff. As far as stuff that people sample, um, you know, hit her, just you uh, Google her name and Google samples after it, and you'll know Evelyn Champagne King has been used a lot. Music Box for one buck. Another one I picked up was Candy Staten Chance. I haven't played this one either. I believe I bought this one at the same time. This looks like it's an 80s album. It's uh, 1979, so pretty close. Uh, Candy Staten Champs, don't know nothing about it. But feel free to let us know. Uh, another one I picked up was Hang On Ramsey by the Ramsey Lewis Trio. Contains the hit song Hang On Snoopy, recorded live at the Lighthouse, Hermosa Beach, California. This one's pretty nice. I actually played this album. Interesting. It has Hard Day's Night on there. Uh, all, it's all My Love Belongs to You. Uh, he's a Real Gone Guy. And I Love Her. Moving Easy. Billy Boy. Uh, cool song. Satin Dolls on here. So you kind of know where we're going with this. Um, it's kind of jazzy and it's live. So it says it was recorded again live at the Lighthouse in Hermosa Beach. I wonder if that place still exists. Um, I don't see the year anywhere on here, but interesting album here uh it's jazz obviously uh ramsey lewis has been let's see here uh, it doesn't say the date they did this i'm assuming it's uh oh here recorded october 14th through the 17th 1965 nice so this is 1965 ramsey lewis trio hang on ramsey and the last one i found was uh willie hutch fully exposed Got this one at the swap meet too. Actually, the Goodwill. I thought this was from the swap meet. Hmm. 
Willie Hutch fully exposed. Well, I haven't played it, but you guys know who Willie, Willie Hutch is. Just Google his name, Willie Hutch. Put samples at the end, and you'll see all the people that sampled him up too. So uh, yeah, cool, cool pickup for a dollar. And yeah, basically the ones I picked up the last couple days, couple weeks. Uh, got about that much more to, to share. When I share them, I put plastic on them. I put clean them, put plastic, share them. Then I alphabetize them, store them, come back, you know, later, listen to them. Uh, because I have to do that because um, I'm not just buying these records to collect them. I'm buying them to also to uh, sell and listen to them. Uh, mostly to listen to them, not to sample anymore. I initially got into buying records as a DJ back in 1985, 84. You know, my parents having all the records, you know, all the oldies and uh, the you know latin stuff and some of the disco a lot of the disco and you know the basic stuff like michael jackson and uh, you know pop music and you know that kind of stuff uh soft cell and commodores and uh the beatles and my parents having all that music always my dad played in bands so uh i was in my blood to get into music that's why i produce music and stuff but initially I the reason why I'm saying all this is because I got into buying records when I was a DJ in the in the 80s DJing a lot of you know weddings, quinceaneras, school dances, backyard parties, things like that uh, to make money, to buy equipment, to produce music, and then I started buying records looking for samples. But now I buy records because I like music, because I love music, and uh, I'm not really buying them to uh, sample anymore. When I buy a record, by you know. Bob James is because I want to hear Bob James records or Willie Hutch because I want to hear w Willie Hutch records or a rare Smokey Robinson album I've never seen because I want to hear that Smokey Robinson album and, and that's what it's about it's uh, about discovering music I never knew existed and um, uh, that's what's good about it is uh, a lot of the albums are not on iTunes or on YouTube so uh, especially 45 the small 7 inch records when you buy those there's always a song on the other side that it's basically undiscovered or unheard by your average music listener so um, that's why I would challenge you to uh, buy records and obviously if you're watching uh, uh, these shows you're into records so this is the your thing you know obviously I'm not gonna go tell someone to buy records who's into CDs or just carrying around an iPod and buying music off of Google Play or, or Amazon or iTunes or whatever it is however they work now you know I'm not against uh, CDs or iTunes but uh, you know, I like holding a record like this Willie Hutch album and um, being able to read it, you know, and look at the liner notes and, and, and uh, which this one don't have any, <laughs> or just reading the back and, and reading the story on, uh, you know, back who the background singers are. It's just, this ain't air, you know, uh, stuff on iTunes, it's just air. That's how I look at it, it's like you're just buying air. This is a physical copy of an LP. It doesn't mean that you have to go out there and run and buy a turntable on a record because you won't know where to start uh, but you know there's always a way to start and uh, <clears throat> the reason why I'm saying all this is because I'm not trying to get people to buy records or to do what I do but to uh, enjoy music the best way you can and uh, that's what I'm trying to do here thanks for watching digs of the day episode 29 I'm DJ tricks Los Angeles California see you in the next one